Hi everyone and welcome for this tutorial how to paint uh, Dark Angel Primaris. During this tutorial we are going to uh, paint the armor in green, uh, the weapon and everything else, the accessories, the red and everything else. You can see uh, on the screen directly the different color I'm going to use. So if you want, you can uh, use it directly on, or you can use some similar kind of color. Thanks again to all my boss on Patreon who support me and give me the possibility to create this kind of content. So at the beginning I start by using some uh, green from Pro Color and a little bit of yellow lemon from Pro Color too. Um, I'm going to use that uh, directly on my uh, primed miniatures. I primed it with a dark, uh, a dark green from Army Painter. And with my airbrush, I'm going to focus on the shoulder, the head, and all the parts who are going the more um, light on the miniatures. Take care about that. Always focus on the parts who are going to take the more light. And don't hesitate to make different layers and to let the time uh, to the paint to be totally dry uh, between the different layers of airbrush. It's the same for brush, but it's always good to have some reminder. So now I'm going to continue with some lemon yellow directly. I'm going to push um, every edges of my miniatures. I know it's a little bit annoying uh, part, but it's a little boring, um, but it's very important uh, to have everything perfectly clean and have a great and good lisibility on the table if you want to play with your mini. So you always can focus on the uh, up part, the head, the torso, if you just want something easy to paint and quick and to be on tabletop level. But for me, it's important to take your time on every part. That's why I show you some kind of different elements like uh, the head, uh, the, the legs, just to show how I do with my brush, in which direction and in all the kind of different dilution I use depending on the surfaces I'm going to reach. As you can see, uh, the helmet is pretty important, so I'm going to focus a lot on that. And now I'm going to make the same, but for every recesses, I'm going to push into my um, shadow uh, some mix between black and the same green I used at the beginning just to push my shadow and to create more and more visibility between the different parts of the armor. As you can see, um, I have paint on an, no more than an half of my brush. It's really important to dilute your color and to discharge your brush on, uh, on your palette or everything else, your hand if you want just to have some a few color on your brush so to be able to control in a more easy way your paint and to be sure you are going to push in the right direction everything you want. Now I am going to start with the icons and the different laser parts. For that I'm going to use some earth brown from Prince August and I am going to make some um, iconic element because it's going to give more life to my miniatures. As you can see, even if I just push some base color, I always try to have not too much paint on my brush. And now I'm going to highlight everything uh, with some uh, white just by adding a little bit of white into my uh, flat earth brown from Prince August. And step by step, I'm going to add more and more white to have my highlights uh, more and more strong. Remember, every time you are going to push again and again your highlights, um, you need to focus on a smaller and smaller part. For the leather, I'm going to focus a lot on the different edges just to try to preserve more I can my first brown color to have something more dark than the different icon he have on the body and the um, and the uh, and the knee. Now with a lot of white and a little bit of brown, I'm going to push again my highlight 
on this few parts to have uh, uh, some highlights in a good direction. Don't hesitate to ask if you have any question into the comments so I can answer it soon as possible. Now I come back with a little bit of Sienna color from Procolor and Black and I mix to push my shadow into the leather and just a little bit into the different icons I have on the miniatures. More you are going to paint, more you are going to be uh, very um, uh, approach to the end more you are going to need to have a very diluted color and a very discharged color from your brush. Now with some red vermilion from Prince Auguste I come back and I push that into the eyes and into the other red part and now with some trolls layer orange I'm going to push my highlights and make sure that highlight is going to be smaller and smaller to create my contrast and my transition in the best efficient way. After that I'm going to mix a little bit my cross layer orange with some white to create one more highlight into the eyes and into all the red part. Now with a little bit of red vermillon I'm going to dilute a lot and with some few color I'm going to come back just to clean a little bit my transition so I come back and I make all sure I'm going to preserve my first highlight and just make my transition. Now I'm going to start the yellow part um, on the weapon especially. I'm going to use some Japanese uniform on all the weapon. Um, Japanese uniform is perfect to make yellow part because it's more covering than a classical yellow color and you can more easily push your prime your, your first uh, color on the base. Now with a mix between flat earth from Prince Auguste, this is a brown I already used and some Japanese uniform I'm going to push my shadow. On the yellow I'm not going to have a very strong contrast, I just need to have a little bit of shadow and a little bit of highlight to have some very simple and, and clean surfaces. Now with some matte yellow I come back and I push just on the edges my highlight and just on the few parts of my mini I think I am going to highlight something like 10% on all my yellow surfaces with this matte yellow from Prince Auguste and it's going to be my last highlight on the yellow part. Take care always to, re um, to push your highlight on every edges, that's, that's pretty important. And now I'm going to start the metallic um, uh, surfaces. This is very easy because I just come back with shining silver on every edges and on some few and small surfaces. I push my color just to have my highlight and after that I will come back just with a little bit of black very diluted pu to push my shadow and to clean my transition on the different point. Now I finish with some black from Pro Color just by pushing my shadow on different parts and take my time to uh, create and making some lining to make some distinction between my different elements. As you can see the black is going to really have and push a deep effect into my metallic part and that will be very easy like that. I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial, I'm going to show you the final results on the first squad. Um, don't hesitate um, to subscribe to my channel if it's not already done. You can follow me on Facebook and Instagram to see all I do and all I paint during my time and become a patron to support me during all the years 
uh, to support me to create more and more content and you will have access to a private uh, Facebook group so you can share with me your paints and I will make you some feedback. Thanks again for watching and see you soon.